after we identify where we are going to install the card reader, we will remove the coin mech and connections so we can physically allocate the unit. After we remove the coin mech, we will remove the template in this particular game so we can start with the measurement, drilling, and removing also the sticker. We don't need to insert coins as we're going to tap. Now it's the moment to reconnect the template and bring the reader into the desired position where we want to finally install the unit. So we reconnect the wires, we reinstall the front, and now we're going to measure again using the template, marking the four holes. And make sure everything is straight and aligned. So make the holes with a four millimeter drill bit. And we're going to use the screws that come in the kit. Make sure that there are no metal behind the holes so everything can tight firmly and using the screwdriver let's connect the four screws now that the unit is installed we're going to cover also the hole that the coin mech left there Using the wood screws, we're going to install the controller inside of the game. And then with the black wire, we will connect the reader and the controller. Make sure you do a clean installation of that wire and then it goes into the main socket. The coin mech, we need to search and seek for coin signal on ground. Every coin mech is different, especially on Chinese models, so be careful with that, please. In the Sakoa harnesses, identify both blue cables they will be used to connect into the coin mech. Keep in mind that we have six pair of cables, three for input and three for output. We have A, B, and C input and three pairs for A, B, C output signal. You can twist the wires for a cleaner installation. Loop the map because you may need them for some other games in the future. and they go into input and output signal. Remember that. So the pair of cables now will be all the way run up to the coin mech pair of cables that we identify previously. And we suggest you use zip ties so when you open and close the door we don't damage any cable and you have a clean installation.
it doesn't matter if it's the blue and the black or the white and blue and the black. This is just signal. You can use zip ties to get them together. Now we need to do the ticket dispenser connection. We identify the Sakoa wires and we use the male socket to be connected into the ticket dispenser. Once it's done, just run the cables nice and clean, use zip ties, and again, loop everything, and this is going to the e-ticket input in the controller. Look for the power of 110 volts, and again, some games may give you more voltage, to connect the power supply that we will be giving you with a kit. Some games in the United States will come with a UCL cable standard connector and this is a different installation than this one. So once you identify the power just connect the two cables and you can tighten now all the zip ties so you save some of those and just drill the socket where we're going to connect the power supply, the 12 volt power supply. Connect into power 12 volt. Once it's done, all the inside, you're pretty much done on that. Now we need to cover that hole, so we use some plexiglass, we measure that, and every game will be different, so you need to customize every single cut. In this case, we will use the two holes on the front, run two screws that you can find in your stock of screws, and once it's done, just make sure that the hole is covered, and then installation is complete. Once it's done, we need to do the settings in the configuration, so press the button there in the controller for five seconds until the screen shows the setting menu. Tap on that, choose for the connectivity, and we're going to record the ID of the game. In this case, we're setting an ID of 500 number, and we will save that. Once it's done, we reset the controller and we'll take over the air all the updates that the system may have for that controller. It will take several minutes until it's done, 22 steps. And when it's done, you will see that the flashing signal will give you the confirmation that it's done, will load up to 100%, and it has to show you the price that you have set into that particular game. Everything is done.